Hi, everybody. Welcome back to JuriSkew.com podcast. This is Michael Oliveras, and I am with immigration attorney, a top-notch immigration attorney, Yakov Spector. Yakov, Hi, welcome back. Thank you. Always a pleasure to have you. You always break it down for us so simple, and you make the law alive for us. Because immigration law, look, sometimes it could get a little rigid. It's not always that fun, but we actually discuss real-life situations that could affect you when you apply for your asylum, for your uh, immigration status uh, change to stay, live, and work in America. And one such decision that is very important is use of professionals to aid you, to assist you in this process. I see a lot of uh, ads out there. I hear a lot of people using people from the ads for that uh, advertise themselves to be paralegals, immigration paralegals. And they say they can do all types of services for much cheaper than immigration attorneys, okay? So to me, already this sounds um, nefarious, sounds uh, like false advertising because if you get arrested, I've never seen a paralegal represent you. If you buy a house, I haven't seen a paralegal represent you, but immigration law, all the sudden paralegals can represent you, it doesn't work this way. So, Yakov, tell us, please. And look, I'm sure you employ paralegals in your practice that work under you. That's you. perfectly fine. But tell us, uh, what are the dangers if you're using a paralegal and not using a licensed attorney for your immigration case? <laughs> You know, uh, it. Uh, you know, this is going to be. Um, uh, a lot of people come to me and they say, "Hey, uh, you know, why do I have to pay you so much more money? You know, if uh, there's uh, this guy, you know, who is like the the uncle of my of my niece's friend, you know, who uh, you know who will file all the paperwork for for way cheaper, right? It's just the forms, right? Yeah, it's just yeah. the forms." And, uh, you know, and uh, let me tell you this, uh, and uh, then you also hear some people will tell you, hey, you know, I had, you know, I, I did my paperwork with the paralegal, everything was fine, you know, and, uh, you know, they basically walk around telling people to uh, essentially use a paralegal uh, just because they had this particular type of an experience. But so it's, it's you know, a lot of people are um, understandably kind of perplexed, you know, and there is, you know, there is people who are in, in, in the lawyer camp, and there's people who are in the paralegal camp, okay? okay? And predictably, a lot of lawyers are in the lawyer camp, you know? And I'm not going to be that much different from, uh, from the rest of them. I, I am also firmly in the lawyer camp, but, you know, I'll tell you why. Because sometimes it's true. Sometimes a paralegal can do the same thing that I can do, okay? okay. But um, uh, I'll give you a really easy way to look at it, okay? Uh, uh, a lot of things that when you go to your doctor, right? A lot of things that your doctor is doing for you could probably be done by a nurse, right? Uh, why don't you go? Why don't you go and see the nurse for uh, the, you know for basically everything that ails you, right? Because because the risk is too high. Because the doctor will be able to catch something if something goes wrong. Okay, you mm -hmm. probably don't want to, uh, that to be handled by a nurse. You want it to be handled by a doctor. Mm -hmm. so right. If you are if you are filing for your green card or your citizenship, right? You are basically it's it's one of the mo most important decisions of your life. You know, it's one of the most complicated processes that you're going through. What's your risk tolerance? What are uh, what if things go wrong? Even assuming that it's only a ten percent chance that things might go wrong, are you willing to take that risk by essentially going with a nurse instead of a doctor? Exactly. When it comes to your health, we instinctively understand the difference. Mm -hmm. But you got to understand that you know if you are filing for your green card. How important is that to you or to your family? And then the calculation becomes very difficult. Blah, 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 very different, right? Exactly. Because yeah. essentially, this is uh, you know this is what you want to well you want to ask yourself what's my risk tolerance? And it sounds too good to be true. Where paralegal charges you a few hundred bucks for some forms, and you're gonna get your citizenship. It's not okay. that simple. Well, because and essentially all they do is uh, they uh, that's all they do. They file some forms. They don't consider your situation. What what if actually you know what they're doing? They're actually putting you on the on the path to deportation. It happens it happens a lot. Yeah, and by the way, 
that's a great point. Uh, if it comes down to deportation, that paralegal is not going to be able to come to court and uh, represent you. At that point, you're going to have to hire a licensed attorney. You're going to pay not double, not triple, much more, 10 times fold, because now you're going to have a possible deportation proceeding, which costs, uh, could cost uh, real money. Yeah, you will have to pay more, not because we're vindictive, but simply because your disease has now progressed so far that right. it will cost you much more to fix it. That's a great analogy. And also, uh, what comes to my mind is that an attorney has uh, insurance. First of all, attorney is ha carry uh, legal malpractice oh, insurance. So if anything happens where attorney committed a professional mistake, you may be able to sue and recover money, whereas paralegal has no such protection, right? Uh, well, that's correct, but it's probably, see, that's, you know, it, it might make sense, but as you know, okay, when people get large settlements for their family members for medical mistakes, you know, their family member is dead, but now they have a million dollars. What would you rather have? Okay, uh, same, yeah. same here. You know, you probably don't want to end up in a situation when uh, you would have to sue uh, anyone, right? Yeah, that, you, want to, yeah. you want your green card, you want your status, yeah. you want your family to have status here. Exactly. Okay, do your research. Go to a professional. Yeah. And speaking of research, an attorney, he was researched on because he or she was licensed by a state bar, which means he passed what's called a fitness, uh, character fitness test. Uh, his criminal record was uh, checked and he or she received his license. While a paralegal, you know who that person is. He's not or she not vetted by anybody. And they can always take your money and run and not even uh, do any work for you. Whereas by an attorney, uh, usually that's not the case. I mean, of course, anything is possible, but you have much more protection when you pay an attorney. So the takeaway here, Yaakov, like you said, it's always best to pay a little more, and by the way, it's not going to be a tremendous difference. It's not going to be in hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's not going to be in tens of thousands of dollars. There's going to be a difference. It's worth it to pay to go to a licensed attorney who is able to go to court, able to talk to a judge, and present you properly. You're Yaakov. absolutely correct. Yep. Yakov, thanks again for great advice. This is why we do it. This is what we do here is educational. This is think of it as public service announce, announcements because. Immigrants, let's face it, a lot of immigrants just don't have the resources and the knowledge to get all the facts, could be a language barrier because not in the country for so long, and they are vulnerable, vulnerable to people who could take advantage of them, such as different scams, and we talked before about scams that are out there um, perpetrated by uh, different characters, and uh, they could fall victims to these uh, paralegals. So it's very important to contact an attorney like Jakob Spector, who does immigration and immigration only, nothing else, right? You don't do real estate, you don't no, do I personal only, injury. I only do immigration, but that's immigration. You, actually, Michael, you touched on a very important point. Uh, guys, if you're watching this, you're, you're already way ahead than most people. Most people don't bother to do their research. Right. And it's actually will it, it falls on you, okay? Things that you might learn in this video or in other videos that we put out, uh, uh, they're important. They might be, they might mean a difference for your loved one between staying in this country or being deported. Uh, it's it's on you. You did your research. You found this video. You're watching this video. Uh, tell uh, tell what you learned to someone else. Pass on the knowledge. And this is what we do here. Well, on this uh, very uh, feel good note, I actually feel even much, much better about what we do over here. Uh, thank you, Yako, for that. Appreciate it. Uh, on this note, we're going to say goodbye. Adios, do svidania. And we'll see you next time with more great advice on immigration and other topics from Yakov Spector and other knowledgeable and experienced attorneys. Have a good day, everybody. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.